Hey everyone, welcome to In-Depth Reviews. We do things a little differently around here. And today's review is of the Jurassic Park Allosaurus Assault Set from Hasbro. I know what you're thinking. Where'd you get that from? I've actually had this in storage for quite a while because I just want to keep it in the box. I thought it kicked a lot of butt. But man, I really want to take this out of the box and just play with it. Might as well just take it side by side of the Allosaurus from Jurassic World and see how they compare. So without further ado, let's get in depth with this review. You know, I didn't want to do it, but I'm gonna do it because this thing is so awesome. I want to see him in my hands. I know just playing with him in the box here that I'm just gonna love him. This guy was released in 2013. I've had him pretty much in storage since 2013. Old school Jurassic Park logo with the new Jurassic Park 3 style. These are called the Dino Showdown packs. There's lots of barrage here. Dino Showdown with the warning labels. Really sick photoshopping here. Warning labels, plants, and vines growing up. Ages four and up in the Jurassic Park warning style. Another warning here. It's funny because these are like tie in with kind of like a Jurassic Park theme even though they're just standard toy warnings. Allosaurus Assault with the Dino Damage, bam. Oh, and even like a little sticker. Oh, this little cardboard piece here saying to try me. With the open concept that they also use for Jurassic World, even though they use more cardboard for this box, and I really do like this box a lot. You have the Jurassic Park 3 Pack Raptor and the good old T-Rex. The bite is back! This is a Toys R Us exclusive from Hasbro. They pretty much re-released a bunch of repaints, and then this guy was a new sculpt from 2009 that they released finally for the 2013 re-release of the 3D film in theaters. So we got this in the Pecky Rhinosaurus. Look at the side here. This is just great art. Really sick art right there. And it's the same thing on the back here, just reverse. Looks very Turok-like. The back looks really cool. You got the dino, a little bit airbrushed, but looks awesome. I like how it gives it stats. It's funny. It's got pull arm back for head thrashing action. Really cool Jurassic Park and dirt thing going on. Dinosaurs are back. The Savage Beast Battle for Supremacy in the wildest place on Earth, Jurassic Park. Head thrashing action. Ash Skull Striker. He's a mercenary. He's got a bow and arrow. Does that bow and arrow really work? Oh my god, what if it does? That'd be crazy. Apparently this is a G.I. Joe unreleased figure. And somebody actually ripped him out I've seen at a store because he's only right here. And he looks like you can take him out pretty easily. Is one string. So people pretty much just ripped him out really easily at the store and stole him. Which is a joke. This is a $30 list price toy. If you can't afford a $30 toy, I think you have some problems. On the bottom, I actually wanted to see what they had here and they crossed them out. The Stegosaurus, which they're still sitting on, Hasbro. That sculpt is still unreleased and so is the Carnotaur. They have those just chilling there and they're not releasing them. They really, really should. And then, of course, a bunch of other repaints that I didn't bother with that looked ugly as hell and I really don't care about. So this is hands down like the best one. I love my carnivores and my theropods. Let's do this. I do not want to mess this up. Jeez Louise. That was insanely hard to do because it's so long. Yikes. I don't want to destroy this thing. Oh, you know what? Well, that worked out very well. That's excellent packaging. This came out completely separate than this. Wow, that was really, really cool. Let's put Humpty Dumpty back together here because it actually saves me a lot of face. Very cool. Thank you, Hasbro. That's great boxing. Cool. Oh my god! The down damage piece! Whoa. Dude, he has a he has ninja swords. <laughs> oh, this is gonna rock. Quadruple tied. Well they definitely hired good people to, to tie this crap together with. Oh my god. Jeez, this thing is really there we go. One. Wow, I really like that. That's really nice that uh, you can see this. Whoever engineered this box, let alone this dinosaur. And oh my god, my jaw is dropped. This is what Hasbro could have gave us for Jurassic World. Good god, that thing's awesome. Let's take apart this G.I. Joe. He's got tattoos. It looks like he has a clear thing on the bottom of his hand here. Look at this guy. G.I. Joes are very articulated. They have joints that move all the way around. This is actually the most articulated figure I think I've ever touched besides a wrestling figure. The feet move up and down and they, oh my god, they move in a th full 360 swivel. His knee moves up and down like that. Does it move to the side? It does not, but his hip move has some joint movements. Oh my god, 
He has a holster for his gun. That's incredible. You can actually put it in there. And oh my god, his hand opens and you can put the gun in it. Jesus Christ. This is amazing. Why don't we get this? Look at this. Damn it. Why don't we get this for Jurassic World? Freeze! He's going gangster style. <laughs> so he's got a gun. His arm's moving a full 360 swivel at the shoulder. His arm goes in and out almost all the way. You can even like break it. Ah! Very cool. Hands move 360. He's got, you know, a screw there and a screw there, but who cares? This figure's amazing. Oh my god. His chest, his pecs, and his abs are two different pieces. And you can swivel on a 360 degree swivel because of that. And the, the chest is like glued with this vest, which is like a separate piece. And it just makes the detailing even more better because you can see the separation there. And it looks freaking awesome. He's got a tattoo. It's actually a dinosaur tattoo. That's uh, pretty cool. Black gloves are a nice touch, and of course his head this looks pretty awesome. Goatee, he's a BA, really cool. His weapons, looks like he has a bow and arrow, I guess that kind of stinks. I remember, uh, I don't know who was it, T-Rex Turner maybe, had the bow and arrow? But there's actually a bow and arrow with a little projectile, and you can shoot it on one of the, uh, the toys from Jurassic Park. But this one's just a straight up decorative piece. I really like, oh my god, is this where this goes? That is phenomenal. These are sword holders, and you can put the swords in here. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. That is so cool. Dude, $30? I thought it was kind of overpriced. This is worth it. Where is this for Jurassic World? Really sick. I wish this stayed in a little bit better, but that's awesome. That is so cool. I'm not even to the dinosaur yet, but this, <laughs> this set's freaking sweet. Put the gun in his holster, he's ready to go. Oh my god. And then the bow and arrow, let's put the bow and arrows with him. Don't know how he holds it, but it just goes like right there. This type of deal. To shoot the Allosaurus. So let's talk scale, because we already have him here. Allosaurus is, I believe, like a little bit bigger. Probably about right there. Allosaurus should be a little bit bigger. But, I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, these G.I. Joe figures, let's compare them to some of the Jurassic Park guys we got. I mean, this could be, like, in scale, because they're the same body types. This could just be, like, Andre the Giant or something. <laughs> this could be, like, your regular Joe, who's 5'11". And here's the Kenner Eddie Car. Not that in, much in scale at all. So this obviously would be in scale with our G.I. Joes and Jurassic Park 3 guys. Creme de la creme. This is so sharp. I'm, I'm speechless. The leg here, the detailing... Looks like a reptile, looks so real, it looks like I'm touching a fish. The scales here on the top of the foot going all the way up to the knees, unreal detailing. You have ribs you can see and they're caved in, but you still have the scaling. Oh my god, this thing is just incredible. You have it all the way down this tail, this tail, I feel like I'm touching a real reptile right now. All the way to the end you have pebbles. And it's, it's got like a nice little sheen to it, so it looks like a real reptile. The only reason I think this is a toy instead of an actual animal is it got a line there for the joint of the leg and the arm articulation, the neck, the head, and then the two ball joint dots for the actual mouth there. This is a real miniature Allosaurus. This is amazing. This is seriously one of the best toys I own. Good God. Why didn't Hasbro give us this for Jurassic World? This is just incredible. We have the detailing the reptile skin all over the backside on the arms the fingers are just incredible the neck the same thing look how small the details on the neck are and how realistic that is up to the top which is more pebble texture on the head just incredible small thin texture here on the top head of the crest you get a little small horns the eye looks great you got detailing underneath the on top of the eyelids the bottom's got a bigger pebble texture, and then the more towards the snout has more of a pebble texture as well. Besides the small pebbles on the spines, the top of the head, all the way down to the tail, incredible. Look at that. Look at that. That is just awesome. I wish the eye maybe looked more downward and to you rather than upward, but this sculpt is a 10. Will this get the first ever 10 out of 10 on the show? 
it's very possible. So let's talk paint job. That might be the only problem I think with this guy. It's very aggressive. I don't think you ever see like this dark teal blue dinosaur, but uh, look at the top there. That looks really cool. I never saw it from this bird's eye view right here. The teal, and then you have like this brown, and then the brown goes into a white, and the, the top looks like very like a chameleon type deal. It looks really cool, almost Native American type art. Really sweet. The bottom's got a white, and it fades up to the teal blue, and the bottom, the feet, is just incredible with the brown. And on the back side is the white, and it on the, each side of the leg and the foot, even on the back of the arms, is white. That's actually what made my jaw drop, was seeing this side and just seeing how awesome the backside white plays into effect for this animal. Incredible. I guess one weird thing is that the brown on the scales here does not continue down to the tail. It goes to the blue, but it's not that bad. The head, you got an eye that is a desaturated red pink. Looks nice. The yellow with the black pupil. Looks really cool. The gums, we have gums. Look at that tongue. Look at the detailing on that tongue. The tongue is a very realistic off pink. The gums are off pink. The only problem you can have with this paint job, besides the aggressive blue and craziness of the paint, is that the mouth siding right here should be the same off pink, but it's actually a blue. So that's the only error they've made. Uh, besides that, you got your joints and stuff there. The mouth, get a little airborne here. The mouth is not painted pink, which kind of stinks, but if you have in the dark here, I'm not gonna notice and look at that sculpt that's just incredible good god so let's talk articulation then we'll talk action features he can do a running pose this is the articulation for the left foot the right foot is pretty much the same thing oh my god godzilla arms go all the way up to there on each side and then they come look at that. that's a reptile man that thing's real it comes all the way down and then the action feature out of the box you can test it in the box move it left and right not that great but hey it's better than nothing the head articulation is just incredible i cannot believe how awesome this thing is move the neck 90 degrees each way or i should say 45 the head you can even move the head that's just crazy so you can have them like huh type deal so that's awesome and then the mouth opens to about there but i don't want to go too crazy and break them so that is really cool there you go bam that is freaking sweet dioramas have fun with this guy just incredible the feet are separate but they don't articulate looks like at all they go up about there and you can see in the bottom of the feet there it says 2010 universal so they could have given us it but they didn't let's go to the dino damage piece let's see how well this works oh my god Okay, I solidified my uh, I solidified my score. Uh, that just solidified my score. And you have a little notch here that takes it out. Yep, we have we have a score, people. We have a new high at this uh, this show. And also the bottom, you can see this the detailing is uh, this line, just like a straight up reptile scaling, very wide, very wide here in the torso. It gets more so at the top here. Wow, this is uh, a <laughs> this is uh, something else, people. So let's go to the most obvious ones first. We have the Jurassic World Allosaurus and the amazing Hasbro Jurassic Park 2013 Allosaurus. And you see that it's just no contest at all. This is just garbage in my opinion. You see the sizing comparisons. It's like double the size. Yeah, not that great. Let's compare them to some herbivores. Jurassic Park Series 2 Pachycephalosaurus. You can see that these two, very play compatible. That looks really cool. Allosaurus and Parasolophorosaurus. Not so much play compatible. This is a pretty aggressive paint job. This is a very movie accurate paint job. This looks like a real herbivore. <laughs> I mean, this looks real too, but it's a very aggressive paint job. Lost World Kenner Allosaurus and the Hasbro Allosaurus. And I think this is the very first time ever that a Kenner dinosaur just lost to a Hasbro dinosaur. People, miracles do happen. You can see how just awkward. Here's the sizing, roughly the same. If this Hasbro Allosaurus was a little bit bigger, or the uh, tail, I should say, was stretched out to this one, it would uh, be the same length, I believe. But 
This definitely looks like an Allosaurus. This is more of like a New Age Allosaurus. Man, you can definitely look at this and be like, yeah, that's Allosaurus. But this one just looks better. Kenner finally lost a round to Hasbro here. That's crazy. You can just see how this is just an old school looking dinosaur. And this is definitely like a new school rendering of the Allosaurus. Here's a Series 1 Raptor and the Allosaurus. Um, movie accuracy, I would say Series 1 Raptor scale-wise is in scale with this Allosaurus. So you can have play time with these guys. It looks pretty cool. The Utah Raptor. Let's go a little higher. Utah Raptor is just a monster. I think this thing is way out of scale for the Allosaurus here. The Utah Raptor is pretty much in the size of a Jurassic Park Velociraptor. So, obviously not in scale. Here's Velociraptor Blue. Yeah, not in scale at all, really. Chomping Rex and Allosaurus. It's funny. Hasbro could have gave us awesomeness like this guy on the left, but they choose to give us garbage like this. The guy on the right here. Obviously not that play compatible. The detailing of this guy compared to the bland detailing of this guy is not even close. I wouldn't say that's very play compatible at all. It's crazy how the same company can have such contrasting toys. Here is the Allosaurus and Young T-Rex. Very play compatible. Very much, I would say, in scale. Maybe the Young T-Rex should be a little bit smaller, but I think it looks really sweet. Very much in scale. Very play compatible. Here's a, the D-Low Spitter from Jurassic World. Two crazy paint jobs. I would say they're play compatible with one another. Stomp and Strike. Ugh. They gave us this when they could have gave us this. I would say not that play compatible at all. In scale? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Carnotaur, Lost World, and the Allosaurus. Look how sweet this looks. They're about to fight. That looks really cool. Triceratops. Nearly in scale. Trikes are pretty big, but I think the Allosaurus should be a little bit bigger. But hey. Uh, it's been a while since I remember my dinosaur scaling stuff and of course the Stegosaurus and the Allosaurus. This looks freaking sweet. Kids can have lots of awesome play times with these. My opinion, the greatest toy of all time. Are these in scale? I think the Allosaurus should be like a little bit bigger. There are these. It actually looks like a really cool photo. Yeah, kind of in scale. Well, there she is, folks. What are we going to give the Allosaurus Assault from 2013 from Hasbro? From their Jurassic Park 3D line out of 10? But there's something about this paint job that's just like, eh. Ah, oh, man, I might just say, fuck it and give it a 10. Fuck it, it gets the 10. This is the first ever 10 out of 10 on the show. It has its flaws, but you know what? That's okay. I mean, in my opinion, Candace Swan pulls a 10 out of 10, but she has flaws. So, whatever. Nothing's perfect in life, and this is about as perfect as we're going to get. That dino damage piece is just incredible. And I think this gets the 10 for me. Absolutely sick figure. Ninja swords, guns, everything articulates. Even has a back piece for his ninja swords. His bow and arrow doesn't move, but that's just fine. This is so, so Kenner-like. And it's incredible. And I suggest you picking it up. The only way you can get these, because, you know, these were released in 2013, and they're very rare to begin with. As you see, mine has a couple paint blemishes on him. But he was the only one for uh, for sale. And he was the only guy I really wanted to buy. I didn't want to buy the Packy Rhinoceros. But I ended up buying the Packy Rhinoceros. I have that. I'm not going to do a review on that one. I suggest you pick that one up, too. But this Allosaurus, it looks like his feet do move to the left and the right. Do you even notice that? That's crazy. To be honest with you, I'd rather it not have that articulation. I'd rather have it just stagnant. But um, I suggest you pick up that one, and I suggest you pick up this one. The only way you can, pretty much, is the scalpers, sadly. Because this was released in 2013. They're pretty much going to be at least $30. They might be double. But try to get them if you can. Don't really bother with buying him in the box, because it'd be cheaper just to buy him loose. Make sure he's just complete. With the two guys here... And the accessories like the ninja swords and the gun. The bow and arrow is kind of dumb. If they don't have the bow and arrow, that's fine. But see if you can get just these two straight up. This is just incredible stuff. I suggest you pick it up without a doubt. I'm going to give it the first ever 10 out of 10 on the show. And I don't know why Hasbro didn't give us this just awesome stuff. And they gave us, pretty much in my opinion, mediocrity. So... Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a great day. So that was the Allosaurus Assault set from 2009's Jurassic Park Hasbro line. But this figure, if you can find it at your Burlington Coat Factory, good luck. 30 bucks, kind of steep, but this product kind of kicks ass. If you can find it, buy it. So that's been another in-depth review. I thank you guys for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you already haven't as well. So thanks for watching once again. I'll get you guys on the flip side. Rawr, rawr.